everyone and welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. I am so sorry for my statue-like positioning right now. I'm trying so hard to not get the lighting messed up because surprise, surprise, we are right in front of the window. And I'm so sorry for my hair bang situation right now. I just washed my hair and honestly, I feel like I have a hair washing session at least once in every vlog, so you guys should be used to it by now. I just wanted to hop on here because I am going to be working on two projects today. For those of you who don't know, Aunt's and Uncle's Day is today, which is Monday, July, I was about to say June, July 26th. And I normally don't think I make my aunt and my uncle a card for the occasion, but ever since I've been using my original ideas instead of drawing characters for cards, I've been enjoying the card making process a lot more. And cards are also a lot more personal. I realized that when I was going through my card box the other day, I love rereading cards. They make me feel very special. And I just want to give my aunt and uncle that feeling and make them a little card for the occasion along with the little presents I got them. And I recently did some experimenting in my sketchbook and instead of usually using, wow, instead of using the usual line art I like to do, I decided to try not doing line art and just going straight in with coloring with a hoo-hoo marker. To my surprise, I actually really like how it came out. So I want to do a little more experimenting with that tonight. But before I do that, I want to take the designs I did do in my sketchbook. And I'm so sorry if I seem not focused. This bang situation is bothering me but I'm going to leave it before the lighting gets messed up. I want to take those designs I made and turn them into a design for one of my tote bags and also do a little gouache piece for myself. I cannot tell you the last time I touched gouache. Painting in general just intimidates me and scares me because I always think I'm gonna mess up, so I tend to stay away from it. But looking at my sketchbook, I realized I only use really a hoo-hoo marker, pen, and mechanical pencil. So I wanna change it up a bit and try out some new mediums, so I'm not scared to use them in the future. Those are my goals. Get those things done, try out some new mediums, and just have a fun time making some art. Because after doing that spread in my sketchbook last night, I think I rediscovered my love of art for a while now. I have been missing that. And sometimes I feel like I'm just drawing to draw so I don't lose whatever skills I have because that is a genuine fear that if I stop drawing for a while, I'm going to forget how to do it. And I love drawing, it's very therapeutic for me. I thoroughly enjoy having it as a hobby. Having that love for it again and that passion for it, it really makes me happy. And I am really excited to start doing some more art pieces. I wanna do some finished pieces, experiment with new materials, new mediums. When I say new materials, I mean like drawing on different surfaces like the tote bag. And one day, this iconic mirror situation in the back, which you guys barely get to see these days, I definitely want to redo it and find a way to scrape off that paint so I can touch it up and incorporate the new style I've been using. We have a lot on the checklist for today and let's get right into it. My goal today is also to drink more water and we're gonna risk the lighting for a minute. I also have a snack of honeydew. There we go, there's the overexposure that I was waiting for. I also have a bowl of, will it focus? Honeydew though. And I'm just going to go start checking things off my list now. Thank you for tuning into my TED talk. Hope you enjoyed. So this is the spread that I was referring to. I was having a crisis and I wasn't sure how I like to draw humans because I want to find a way of drawing them where I can show more expression than the two dots. Even though I really like this style, I want to develop it a bit more. So I was having a little crisis here, but the day after I made these things and I was feeling a lot better. Corgis because why not? And 
I saw Paloma the Peach. I'll link her channel down below. I really love her videos. She just made a tiger tote bag situation. So it inspired me to draw this tiger and I really like it. Studio assistant is currently vibing. A few moments later. So I finished the cards. This one is for my uncle and I used Muji pen for the stars and sparkles and Ohuhu marker for the tiger itself. And then this one is for my aunt who doesn't love a little corgi. Honestly, I think it came out really cute. I think the sketches from the spread I did last night worked really well for these concepts that I needed it for and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So after the card making, I kind of forgot to record my setup for my tote bag painting. Yeah, I don't have those clips, but you guys can go check it out in my short that I made about painting on the tote bag. And that is something I just want to touch on. I didn't realize that making shorts would be beneficial for my art and the channel. So I've been getting into it and I'm trying to post one every day and it's going well so far. I hope I don't fall off the wagon and it gets overwhelming. Right now it's really fun and I'm enjoying the little challenges I do during the shorts. But um, yes, you guys can go see little snippets of the process in my short about the tote bag painting. And honestly, it went really well. I'm happy with how it came out and something about it just felt freeing. I told myself that I didn't want to sketch on the bag, like my initial design. I did a few sketches in my sketchbook just so I can have a general idea of what I wanted the piece to look like. I also ended up changing my idea. I went with some little fruits instead of the tiger idea. Um, maybe I'll do the tiger another day, but for today I felt like doing the fruits, so that is what I did and i'm really happy with how it came out especially how i didn't sketch anything out and that wasn't like oh my god it has to be perfect oh my god what if the sketch doesn't look good how am i gonna be set up to do the real thing no i just went in with the paint and something about that for me was really freeing and i really enjoyed it and having that positive experience painting it made me feel really good so i'm going to show you guys the tote bag now just to talk about the process a little bit I laid everything out on my bed because this was the biggest workspace I had and I had my massive box of paints there and I was frantically digging around for the fabric paint because it was at the bottom and big tip you're gonna need a lot of fabric paint so make sure you have enough before you just plop a color down because my white was dried up and it was not coming out so i had to use acrylic white paint and i hope that doesn't change it too much i really only used the acrylic paint to mix with more of the fabric paint to make the color lighter and for the white highlights that you saw on the cherries and the apple i used the white fabric paint because the slightest bit would come out so i had to really make it work for both fruits and honestly, I'm glad I added the highlight though. It adds a little extra to the fruit. And obviously next time I'm going to need something flat to put on the inside of the bag so the paint doesn't bleed through. And also I have a flatter surface to work on. That wasn't really an issue though. The bag was relatively smooth already, so I didn't have any problems with wrinkles or anything like that. I also used about four brushes two thicker brushes and two thinner brushes for the finer details. So you're definitely not gonna need a lot of materials for this. You're just going to need a tote bag, some water for your paint brush cleaning, paint brushes, obviously. Unless you feel like using your fingers, go for it. And I'm sorry everything is overexposed. I move too much and we are already too far into stop. Um, you're also going to need Great, I forgot what I listed already. Let's try this again. So you're going to need some fabric paint, some paint brushes, at least four paint brushes, 
but I don't really think you'll need more than that, so that shouldn't be an issue. Um, you're also going to need a tote bag or honestly any clothing, any fabric material you can paint on if you don't want to do a tote bag. And you also need some paint water to clean your brushes. I kept a washcloth on hand just because sometimes things would get a little messy. So that was also just to dry off my paint brushes. And you don't really need a palette per se. You can just use a paper plate or any flat object you don't mind ruining with paint. And that's honestly about it along with, sorry, a piece of cardboard to put on the inside because I did not do that. And now I have paint stains all the way onto the back of the bag. So if you guys don't want that to happen, make sure you put a piece of cardboard in the bag. So these are just some of the sketches I did before I did anything drastic on the bag. And then this is the bag. I am in love with how it came out. I love the colors. And for my first time using fabric paint on one of these tote bags, I think it went really, really well. Something I did not take into account is that the paint would bleed onto the inside of the bag and it'll show from the back. But that's honestly a minor thing. I don't really care about that. And I'm just really glad with this final outcome. And honestly, I'm excited to do another one already. It's been very relieving working on art-related things all day. I haven't had a day like this in a while. Normally when I'm not at work and I have a day off, I tend to get lazy and unproductive. And that's been the case for the past few weeks. So I'm really glad that I had the willpower to get up and do what I wanted to get done today. It was very refreshing and it felt very good to just spend a day doing art. It felt so nice and I'm very excited to do this again. And I don't really have anything else to do today, so I think I'm gonna go work on making some more shorts for the rest of the week and getting that out the way. Also, before I pop off for the day, if you guys have any ideas for what kind of shorts I should do, definitely drop that in the comment section down below because your girl has a lot of ideas, but that well is going to run dry eventually. So help me keep it flowing and full and drop your ideas in the comment section down below. Hello guys, it is currently Tuesday, July 27th, and believe me, I was struggling to remember the date before I clicked record, but this is one of the first days in a while where I feel put together. I had to go to the doctor's for my physical today, and I said, you know what, let's dress up a little, because I haven't had anywhere to go, really, since COVID. So whenever I go out, I take that opportunity to go all out, and dress my best so i just have my charlie brown shirt on today which sorry my pigtails are in the way charlie brown shirt which i'm in love with and i also have these checker pants i don't know what this pattern is called if you know what it is please let me know down below but i have no idea what this is called but all i know is i'm loving my outfit and yeah, that was basically my day so far. I got home not too long and I plan on prepping some more. I moved too much, there goes the lighting, let's fix it. I plan on prepping some more to make some more shorts later because guys, I just checked my Tinkerbell short that I made and it's already at like 150 views and I posted it yesterday. For some of you that might not seem like a lot, but for me, that's a lot. So I'm really happy that that's doing well and I'm excited to make more. They're really fun for me and it's just, it's really fun getting to try out something new in terms of digital art, like making over a character or something. That's, it's fun for me. I get to think of new ideas and go out of the box a bit while having some foundation already set for me so it's it's fun and update on the tote bag it dried and i'm gonna risk the lighting again to show you guys properly but it's so cute i love it i'm so happy with it the colors are so nice and for my first time painting on a tote bag. I painted on jeans before, but I feel like it's a bit different in terms of the material. 
So I'm really happy with it. I, I can't stop looking at it. I'm so sorry. The colors are very vibrant. I'm very happy that I didn't do a sketch first. I feel like I needed that push to just go for it. So I'm really glad that I did. And I cannot wait to use this. I was actually thinking and I think I'm going to take some photos with the bag and with the bag on its own and once I make a few more of these I'm gonna keep taking photos and list them on Etsy under one listing and make that listing a customizable tote option but I just want people to see like what designs I put on tote bags before so they can have an idea of what they want to suggest maybe or maybe it'll influence their decision on what they want so i hope that made sense and didn't sound like gibberish i myself had to figure out what i was trying to say but yes that is the plan i'm gonna go take some pictures with the tote bag just so i have them for when i do my listing and i'm also gonna do some more shorts prep so i might not pick up my camera for the rest of the day but I just wanted to update you guys on what was going on. I just decided that before I pop off I just want to show you guys. I showed you the fruit sketches I did as prep for the tote bag design but last night I just I got bored so I decided to just color them in. It's not my best coloring job but it was a quick thing and I feel like it really ties the page together because it looked really plain before that and I also did this cute face sketch because I'm trying to develop my style of drawing humans a bit more so I hope that's a step in the right direction but for now we go take some photos I'm really liking this bandana situation you know I also recently purchased this new shirt that I'm currently obsessed with moving on hello guys it is currently Tuesday August 3rd anyway I'm here to close out this little vlog I do apologize this video was a lot of me rambling and going on nerd talks about my art journey and some goals that I've been planning out so I do apologize for the lack of content this week I have been busy and I am trying to plan out new things to do like I would love to do a video on glass painting I bought frames I have the paint and everything I'm just trying to find the time to do it because I've been busy between my bakery job and also getting ready for the new school year we are officially a college girl now and end of August is going to throw a wrench into my plans but I am going to work through it and try and find time to film nonetheless but right now I'm trying to figure everything out, plan some things out, and I have been also working on my shorts a lot because that's been getting a lot of traction and you guys seem to be really liking it. So I've been putting a lot of time and effort into that while also finding time to create art personally for me that I don't have to film or put on camera because that does add some pressure. So there's been a lot going on and I'm trying to figure it out. I promise the videos will be chock full of content from now on i am going to up my game that is the plan and yes i just want to let you guys know and i am so appreciative of all your support we have been gaining new subscribers steadily i think it's due to the shorts it's getting a lot of traction and bringing a lot more attention to the videos so i'm very happy and thrilled about that and Honestly, I don't know what the next few months are going to hold in store with my schedule and everything changing, but we're going to find a way to make it work and we are going to keep this channel thriving and going strong. So thank you for everyone who has been supporting me constantly and consistently. I really do appreciate it and I really hope that you guys have been enjoying the videos. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below and click that subscribe button. And if you want notifications for when I post next, make sure to click the bell icon for that. Thank you all once again so much for watching and for the continuous support. And I will see you all in the next video.